Now imagine you're in the hospital and your child needs a life-saving injection, but the nurse is unsure on how to calculate the right dose. What would you do? Hello everyone, aha, hey, Coco Kemp. Today we are going to tackle important and practical applications of chemistry in healthcare. Mammy, on YouTube channel. After your whole scenario, let's dive into our first problem. First question A A patient requires ingestion of 0.012 grams of a painkiller available as a 15 mg per ml solution. How many milliliters? Should be administered. Who will be say, a man in bow, who came there, you be breaking your mat down, a mobia at your separate pepper. First thing I was away and say, you identify the known information. Question the money, you may dosage, dosage, you know, a 0.012 grams, and you may concentration, think of the concentration, a 15 milligram per ml. Information idea my question step two identify answer and unit. Okay, question muna or say how many milliliters should be administered into no volume any share volume no should be in milliliters. Step three identify conversion factors into no answer so, okay, question muna ya may grams and ya may milligrams grams and milligrams internet i would say you find the relationship between the grams and milligrams okay in the name that 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 our class i guess here our unit conversion say one gram every mile 1000 milligrams and the ultra no ultra every mile 1000 milligram every mile one grams so what i say and a question you want to know that my 15 milligram per ml the 15 milligram per ml this is a one ml beyond and that's a one milliliter beyond amount of painkiller name will be 15 milligrams into you know, a one milliliter beyond you 15 milligrams of painkiller into the answer to your table near table no said a yedical who in the previous classes no which way long division line now the long vertical lines right there and today we are starting with the name no the start here the which was 0.012 grams it was raw near the long vertical line i said grams it was top and it was a grams about an hour for her so i don't know it may cancel because there were a surbiano if it may cancel they were from into no conversion here one gram will give you 1000 milligrams said the edicare who know so the grams way it will try grams way what did I say? Not a milligram no. Into milligram no. I was say convert it. Ni kunya answer no word then milliliters. Milliliter no. Milligram. I was sure I say. There was a milligram no. A banana for her. Then to we no. And now I was say no. One milliliter. I was sure. Not fifteen milligram no. A banana for. So that the milligram on top will cancel the milligram at the bottom. Into the calculator ya. Ubinya zero point zero one two times 1000 times 1 ml or divided by 1 times 15 into we know your computation now answer will be now every 0.80 mils into we know just a 0.80 milliliters of painkiller should be given to the patient good yes and try the next question now near here into second question at a dosage of 20 micrograms per kilogram body weight, how many milligrams of tetanus should a 160 pounds patient receive? Into I say, 
First thing, analysis near is uh, you have to know the patient's body weight in kilograms and then the recommended dosage is in microgram per kilogram. So knowing this data, no, we can calculate the appropriate amount of tetanus that we should give to the patient. The best starter with identify the information in the question. In the end, you say patient weight. Patient weight, you know, is saying 160 pounds. Prescribed dosage, is 20 microgram tetanus per kilogram body weight. Second step, identify the answer and unit. In the answer, now, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, delivered dosage. Okay, delivered dosage, you know, should be in milligrams. Because how many milligrams of tetanus? Okay. The step three, identify your conversion factors. In him say one kilogram biano a two point two zero five pounds. And the twenty year about twenty say one kilogram per two point two zero five pounds. One milligram biano say one thousand microgram. Say so we need how one milligram be able to one thousand microgram. Make sure I say over checking my videos. I may have a unit conversion using the metric table system. If it's my boy, I'm waiting my conversion with effortlessly. We need to say one milligram be able to one thousand microgram. In the end, data na we know. Yahu the known information. Yahu the answer no unit I was a womb, which is milligram. And yahu your conversion. Um, factors in you know, we just have to set it up and then calculate it okay the yeah, yes certain upper the piano yeah we will start with their question no? the idea mind so if we start with 160 pounds patient you know a mood only 160 pounds now the old vertical line number for the bar pounds you know our associate there was a pounds you know above form what does it the upper form no near share conversion factors now or as you have if you see way into a better 2.205 hours here now one kilogram will be on top near call the other one no? because pounds will cancel pounds into it was a kilogram a banana for because kilogram it was stroke so the kilogram will be at the bottom right here and you know one kilogram piano from the question you know ever my 20 microgram of tetanus now kilogram at the bottom will cancel out kilogram at the top and to the last step no every you know converting micrograms to milligrams into microgram I was so microgram will be at the bottom so we put 1000 micrograms and then from this guy we put one milligram at the top into a hand so no microgram would take away microgram at the top into the other table now a cost rock a crack it be who said 160 times 1 times 20 times 1 milligram. Me as I said, 2.205 times 1 times 1000. Into we have calculations now. Go say answer number 1.5 milligrams of tetanus because milligram no kwanaka. So the answer will be this. So you see, the dimensional analysis. It's a very powerful tool for solving real world healthcare problems. Whether you are calculating how much medication to administer or converting units, the key is to break everything down step by step, like how I, I just showed you. And then you have to keep track of the units because if you forget the unit, then you may end up getting the wrong answer. Okay. If you ever find yourself stuck, just remember that Coco Chem is here for you. Okay. And you know where to find us. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and share this video with your friends, okay? Until next time, stay curious and keep learning with Kukukem. Bye-bye.